Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video tutorial series, I'm going to cover a very interesting topic named plasma physics. And we will learn this topic via computer simulation. So without wasting time, let's uh, start now. So this presentation on plasma physics is divided into five main parts. First, I will discuss the definition of plasma. Then I will discuss why simulations are needed. Then we will see uh, motion of charged particle in uniform electric and magnetic field. Then we will see uh, motion of charged particle in non-uniform magnetic and electric field. So from our high school studies, we know that matter available to us is mainly in four uh, form. First one is solid. Next is liquid, then gas. And fourth one is plasma. This plasma is in abundant amount in space. And today we are going to discuss about this category. Okay, so in literature, the general definition of plasma is this. A plasma is quasi-neutral gas of charged and neutral particles which exhibits collective behavior. Now, in this definition, two terms are very important. As you can see here, this quasi-neutral and collective behavior. These two terms are uh, play central role in this definition of plasma. But before we go into their uh, definition, means uh, what these terms mean, there, before uh, going into that part, we uh, first want to understand the motion of charged particle in various fields. For example, electric field, in magnetic field, in Earth's gravitational field, right? So, uh, we will first understand how particle behaves in different conditions then it would be easy to understand these two technical terms, right? So, as we know that, to understand or to study the motion of charged particle in field, different field condition, we have Lorentz force equation. As you can see here, this F is equal to Q into electric field plus v cross b v is the velocity of charged particle right so if we can solve this equation then we can study the motion of our charged particle okay and we are going to do the same thing okay but in the computer and uh, as i've written here the best way to visualize the effect of electric and magnetic field is via simulation. As you can see here, we have a electric field term and magnetic field term in our Lorentz force e uh, equation. But um, uh, let me tell you, um, in most of the cases, or say in real life situation, this equation cannot be solved, right? So what we do is we uh, do numeric, we use numerical techniques like uh, leapfrog method, Euler-Cromer method, okay, and uh, uh, what we can say, Boris algorithm we use to solve this equation. Now let me tell you the importance of this uh, simulation. The first benefit of uh, understanding any concept via simulation is we can understand the theory, the concept in depth. So we can uh, understand the maximum physics of that phenomenon. The next benefit is of course, cost. Simulations are free of cost, right? You uh, just model your system and run it on your computer. So it is free of cost. The third and most important uh, benefit of a simulation is there is no danger associated to this um, practice. So before uh, implementing our idea, our experimental idea to 
real uh, into real life um, experiment we must simulate those idea into our computer or say simulation now how we are going to do our simulation right so as i said to solve this uh, lorentz force equation we will use numerical technique and this boris algorithm algorithm is that technique why boris algorithm i am choosing the main reason is it is excellent method to solve this equation okay my battery is low can you please uh, char turn on the charger so as i said it is excellent numerical method and um, this are the equation which we are going to uh, code right in uh, code i will write this um, uh, iteration iterative equations and uh, it will solve our problem now one comment on this uh, boris algorithm is this algorithm requires initialization as you can see here if we put in this uh, iterative equation if we put uh, k is equal to 0 then we will have v half so what is the meaning of v half right so the here is the meaning right so initially we have initial velocity and of course initial position so what will we will do is instead of uh, uh, taking our time step delta t what we will do is we will take delta t divided by 2 means half step then it will calculate v1 by 2 right and thereafter what we will do is we will again take our our we will write an if loop kind of thing right so if uh, iteration is equal to 0 then use delta t divided by 2 otherwise use delta t as a time step so there after uh, calculating this half velocity what we will do is we will again switch to delta t and it will calculate v1 plus 1 half 2 plus 1 half right and simulation will go on and uh, this is the structure of our code so i will write all my inputs into this uh, inputs.txt file then uh, this inputs are going to read by this uh, initial.py file it will create a dummy file which uh, will be helpful to our main.py file this is the actual file in which i have written boris algorithm i will show you and uh, this file will create our output and if we want to visualize this output then we can use plot data.py file and it can create a matplotlib plots and of course this and this files and uh, this plots are our output let me show you in my folder okay so this is the code so as you can see here this inputs.txt is this text file this is my initial.py file All right. so yes this is the input.txt let me close this thing so this is the initial.py as you can see here next is this junk file or say dummy file here are our dummy files these are useless for us so don't worry about this thing okay and next is our main code main.py and uh, plot data.py which will create our plot let's see this thing in spider so in spider we have inputs.txt as you can see here this n is the number of particle t max is the simulation time and dt is our time step this dt is this thing this uh, delta t is our dt okay now initial dot uh, py let me maximize this window so that you can see yes so this uh, initial dot py is this okay so here i have created this class make data files 
and this are the examples which we are going to discuss in future videos okay so for example positive charge negative charge some e cross b drift all these examples we will discuss right next is main.py file okay and uh, in this file i have created this solver class and in this uh, uh, class first is i will read those this files yes i will read this files with help of this code okay so this uh, function this init function will read this uh, data for me and uh, then this uh, e function will create different uh, field conditions for example here is a constant field non uniform field right then uh, this uh, function magnetic field or say b will create different kinds of magnetic field constant magnetic field constant uh, grade b okay constant b theta field this all examples we will discuss now comes the core part boris algorithm this is the actual solver so this are the equation which i have written here as you can see here in first part or say in first step i am uh, calculating half step velocity as i said this is the first um, step in boris algorithm as it requires initialization okay so this is the first step after you calculate this uh, half step thing we code this iterative equations okay so here are our equations in this while loop i have written this h s u and u d here is this this is u dash means u d this is u this is h and this is our s and uh, this all s and h will calculate my velocity next velocity right this uh, velocity uh, means this one v1 one plus 1 half and after this delta t jump it will calculate v 2 plus 1 half then it will calculate 3 plus 1 half 4 plus 1 half like that okay and this is our main.py next is of course our plotting part this plot data.py so in this uh, part i am first calculating or say keeping track of uh, energy of the system so this class energy will uh, calculate a uh, potential energy of system at time t it will also calculate kinetic energy of uh, that time and uh, of course we can calculate uh, total energy of system as we have kinetic energy and potential energy so here it is and remember one thing i am uh, calculating uh, throughout this uh, this uh, video tutorial series i am going to calculate energy per particle that means i will divide total number of particles uh, sorry i will divide total energy with uh, this total number of particles okay so i can get an idea that uh, how much amount of energy that average uh, particle has next is plot data class and uh, this class will plot my data so as you can see here it will first read all my data and then it will create plot by the way this uh, code is available on uh, my github account so you can uh, see it and do experiment with it okay so i'm uh, in this uh, video tutorial series i want to focus more on physics part so you may also have noticed uh, so if you want to uh, 
know more about the coding part means uh, how this uh, code works right and uh, what is the importance of this uh, class uh, and uh, different functions written in this uh, code then you must visit this two video tutorial series of mine okay so in this uh, two video tutorial series i have uh, discussed in detail that uh, why i have created this class and what is the importance of the those class right Ob obviously link is in the description okay so this ends the first part of this uh, video tutorial series in this uh, part we have seen definition of plasma importance of simulation we have discussed boris algorithm and we have also seen our code in next part i am going to cover uh, motion of charged particle in a uniform magnetic and electric field and i will also discuss e cross b drift and uh, before i go here is the recommendation if you want to study plasma physics then you must go through this uh, introduction to plasma physics by ff chen so that's it for today guys see you guys in the next video bye